Mandarina Bavaria uh, smash that I did for a competition um, which I entered in last week so yeah I thought I'd show you the beer uh, tell you a little bit about it and then um, yeah let you know how it got on the competition so yeah it's Golden Promise Mandarina Bavaria and the yeast was WLP644 bottled on the 27th of June so we'll we'll crack it open first nice little hiss off the top Closest you can see. So yeah, I um, this is well the competition. You had to use uh, Golden Promise. That was the only fixed ingredient, and then you could use any malt, sorry, any hop and yeast with it. So Aunt Rogerson kindly um, sent me some Mandarina Bavaria. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to use that. So the uh, the beer is a bit of a cobbled together creation. Uh, never use Golden Promise on its own in a smash. Never use Mandarina Bavaria on its own. Never use WLP six four four. So anyway, this is what I ended up with. Um, and first appearances, and also my first impressions was it uh, came out like a very light style sort of lager or pilsner, but the yeast. Um, it's a farmhouse style yeast um, or wild type yeast strain and um, so yeah it gives a little bit of um, sort of almost like a funky slightly tart I guess you could say edge to it. So for the competition I had to put it into a BJCP category uh, so I ended up going with Belgian Blonde I guess I could have gone Saison in, in hindsight but went with the Belgian Blonde um, so I thought what we'll do is we'll go through the, so there were six BJCP judges, uh, three on each table, so some beers went to one table or the other, so I had three judges judging my beer. Um, we'll cut to the chase, I got 29 out of 50, which isn't bad at all, that's sort of bordering top end of good and just the bottom end of very good. So very happy with that, considering I didn't really know what I was going to have or come up with. So we'll go for the aroma first. So I get like a very clean, slightly, um, slight like citrus and spice from the yeast. Um, judges say subdued, slight spicy esters with uh, red fruit ester with a hint of banana. I don't get the banana at all. No noticeable malt aroma and I'd agree with that. It's very very clean. So that uh, got 6 out of 12. Appearance lovely white creamy head holding well. Well I had to take a break just before for about 5 minutes and the head is just going nowhere. It's, it's fluffy, it's creamy, it's going to stick around. Good clarity, light straw colour. So yep, very happy with the appearance of it. Flavour. Let's go for a dive. Cheers, guys. Um, crisp and clean, and uh, it is it mouthfeel. It's like a lager. It's yeah, crisp, clean, and it's got quite a dry finish to it. It did finish at one double oh eight. So the yeast just absolutely ripped through it in fermentation. So it's a, a liquid yeast and I used um, a whole uh, pack on the half batch. Um, so they say very dry which is dominating, nice fruity flavour, first of plums for season. Never heard that descriptor but that sounds pretty cool. No noticeable malt sweetness, lacking a little Belgian yeast character. So yeah, the, the category I stuck it into was a bit of a gamble. Some of the other guys at the competition maybe suggested maybe you might have suited more of it like a Saison. But yeah, it is very dry. That's probably one thing I do pick up. There is a little bit of sweetness from the Golden Promise, but it's not enough to counter the 
uh, the dryness that that yeast has um, given the beer. Mouthfeel, very dry, yes, I'd agree with that. Carbonation, medium high, yep, it's uh, sort of calmed down a bit now, but the yeast is known for being quite effervescent. I might just sit back a bit out of that sun, you can still see. Um, yeah, the, the yeast is known for creating quite an effervescence in the, in the beer. Um, missing creaminess character for style. I'm getting a little creaminess up front from the, from the head. Um, so yeah, flavour was 12 out of 20, uh, mouthfeel was 3 out of 5, overall impressions. Um, consider mashing high to lift body and sweetness to balance dry character from yeast. So I'd agree with that. I sort of did mash a little bit high, but I probably should have gone up around 70 degrees. Um, could ferment slightly higher to increase phenolic characters for the style. That said, it is a well-made beer that just needs minor tweaking, quite drinkable. So I got 5 out of 10 for overall impression to give me 29 out of 50. So I'm certainly not disappointed with the beer um, and yeah for something that was sort of created on the fly I'm very happy indeed. I'd say I'm drinking this in winter but this would go down extremely well on a hot uh, hot summer's day sitting outside. It is that type of beer like say crisp Crisp, light, dry finish, um, very lager light with its sort of spicy notes from the yeast. A um, little bit of citrus um, and maybe a little bit of floral notes coming through as well, but quite subtle. And that all keeps in, in keeping with a, with a lager. But um, yeah, overall probably more in the Saison sort of category. So anyway guys, that was uh, meant to be a quick video. Hopefully I didn't drag on too long. Um, but I thought I'd, I'd share, share the end results and uh, how it got on the comp. And um, yeah, we'll leave it at that and enjoy the rest of the beer. So enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll catch you in the next video. Um, got my Velvet Merlin Oatmeal Stout that I'll do a review in the next uh, week or so. So uh, hopefully that turns out well. Until then, uh, have a good day, enjoy, enjoy good beer and we'll catch you next time. Over and out.